Hello world, this is Dennis, and I got a new shortwave radio video for you today. Uh, for today, I'm going to be trying out this MFJ-1020C active antenna. Um, I'm going to be doing my testing here with my Grundig Satellite 750. Um, the first thing I'm going to show is the active antenna part using this um, telescopic antenna that it comes with. Um, I think all of you pretty much know what the result of this is going to be, but I'm going to show you anyhow. Um, right now I've got my radio set to China Radio International on uh, 15245 kHz, and the time UTC is 1551. So I better get this test done pretty quick before they sign off or switch frequencies or whatever. Okay, first got to turn that back off. Install the antenna real quick. Uh, this will be a you know live test, so there might be some pauses or some goof ups in between. Uh, so it's a fun part trying to get the antenna in here. And this is where it loses some points already. Um, so far I can say with the testing I've been doing with this thing so far I am not impressed and disappointed. But maybe with you know getting used to how this thing work as you know like a pre selector, maybe I'll be happy with that. But wait and see. So okay. like I said, the first test is well actually let me show you what the frequency sounds like with just using my radio's built-in telescopic antenna. Uh, I've got to turn off my monitor real quick or else I'm going to pick up interference from that. Okay, this is what it sounds like using the radio's telescopic antenna. Actually, use these speakers here since they work better. Okay, let's put on external. And let's turn on the the active antenna. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised here. Let me. Oh, well, I guess because that's why I still had my outdoor antenna hooked up to this thing. Oh God, so uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, not supposed to run both at once. Now, in the item description for this thing, with using you know the antenna part. It claims that I will receive signals just as you know, just as well as using a outdoor antenna. Uh huh. Sure. But you know that's not the main reason why I got this thing. Well, sort of. Just kind of curious to see what the thing does and everything. Uh, can't just turn it back on. Pretty much just more of the same. Loud static. Just using the antenna. And luckily for this, I already know why. Because basically all it's doing is just amplifying the indoor, you know, like interference and stuff from inside the house. Um, okay, now before I run it my uh, outdoor antenna through the box as a pre-selector lets me just hook up my outdoor antenna directly to the radio this is what the signal sounds like I'm getting about 
Uh, it's peaking about S3 on the S meter. Now this is just the uh, running my um, homemade and fed antenna, outdoor antenna, directly to the radio. Now, let's see what it sounds like when I run the antenna through the MFJ 1020C as a, um, a pre-selector. Okay. Yeah, again, I'm just gonna run it directly through my radio. Usually I would have, um, the cable that goes from the box running through my antenna switcher down here, but for the sake of today's test, I'm just running it directly. So I got the outdoor antenna hooked up on the back here, and then from the box itself going to the radio directly. So let's turn the box on, turn up the gain. About there, sound about right now. Try to tune it in. Oh, and they just stopped by casting on this frequency. Son of Godzilla. Okay. Okay, let me try something here. Let me... Okay, I believe this is uh, EWTN or whatever on uh, 15, uh, 15610 kHz. Uh, okay, the ball. S9 plus 20. Yeah. Now, if I understand this correctly, when I when I hit the bypass button, the um, it's just bypassing all the electronics inside, and the antenna is just running, you know, straight to the radio. And the signal is just a little bit less than S9 plus 20. So let's turn the bypass off again. And boosted signal up to S9 plus 20. With me is Dr. Ray Gorendi, the odds on favor to capture his 10th most humble host award. Dr. Ray, how do you think Still a little hard to form an opinion as to how well this thing is working. The last four years I've been unanimously nominated an icing system. This is the game turned up all the way. Well, the best way to tell how this sounds would be to uh, unplug the MFJ and plug the antenna directly in. So, let's see how well this works. So, I'm plugging the box. I'm plugging my outdoor antenna. We're going to go directly to the radio and see how it compares to plug it in, in directly as to run it through the MFJ. Okay, it looks like it's the same as when I run it through bypass. It's in less than S9 plus 20, and the signal seems to be dropping, but you know, it's probably just like atmosphere conditions and stuff. So, and I know for this to be a proper video, I should be showing the S meter with the with the camera, but I'm just using the webcam, and uh, for everybody to see, you know, what I'm seeing here, I would have to, you know, pick it up, put it down, you know, plug this in, plug that in, try to hold the camera, so just, you know, take my word for this video. Okay. Okay, W-E-W-I. This is running through the MFJ. Bypass on. 
There's definitely a difference in sound. Interesting. Okay, let's try a different frequency. Let's try WWCR on 12.160. So I'll turn this down and have to adjust that. Okay, tune it in now. Okay, running through the MFJ gang, almost S9 plus 20 on my S meter of the radio. And yes, I know S meters on radio, on different radios, can have different readings and they're not all the same, but you know, just to give you an idea. Hit, hit the bypass button, turn it on. Seems to be a big change. Then again, the station seems to be fading. Okay, so this is it running through the MFJ, so let's disconnect this and just run the antenna directly through the radio. And I think after I'm done with this, I'll do one more experience, and that's having this this running through my switcher box then down here, and then, you know, hearing how that sounds. Probably, if I had to guess, I'm better off just, you know, if I want to use this, just to hook it up. So directly to the radio. Oh, that's why I turned the volume down. <laughs> it's doing me. An individual restroom is for everyone because one person goes in at a time. And I guess as they claim and on Facebook, there's 50 different sexes now in this country. We're going to have 50 different bathrooms. I mean, this is just uh, all of the joke. We've got flooding hmm. subways yeah. and infrastructure explosions almost every day in New York City. It's Steam mains blow up and train derailments every couple of days and infrastructure rotting all over the place. Okay, seems pretty good. Okay, let's see something here real quick. We're gonna Oh dumb doing this backwards, sorry. Okay. So plugging my outdoor antenna directly into the MFJ. Okay. Now plugging the MFJ into my antenna switcher box. Right now I've got turned off. Now we're plugging from the box into the radio. Now we're sending it for out one, which goes to the grunting. On the end of our borders, illegal alien global attack over a checkmate invasion to mental health evaluations ordered for people that question Sandy Hook, a visual story. I don't know how to tell. I don't know if that's just me, but it sounds like there's more, um, more background noise. If China, projections of power, financial times. Okay, well here's how uh, test this. Okay, this is what sounds like running the MFJ through my antenna switcher. So, let's just run my outdoor antenna directly through my switcher box. So, what you just heard was the MFJ through the box. Now I'm gonna plug in my outdoor antenna directly through my antenna switcher box. And we'll see, you know, what the difference is. Hmm. Not getting any interference at all. Despite all the stress that we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people are relying upon hardest. Well. 
obviously I'm going to have to do some more experimenting with this to see how it works. Um, obviously as an indoor active antenna, and I knew this already, it sucks. As a pre-selector, that's still to be determined. It seems like, and I'm going to have to you know, go over this video again and watch it to, to confirm it, but it seems like if I run it directly to the radio when I'm using the box here, it seems to be not as noisy, but if I'm running it through my antenna switcher here, it seems to be more noise. That seems to be my general impression right now. Like I said, I'll have to do some more experimenting to see how, how it all compares. Um, uh, let's see here. Okay, don't have any thoughts for now. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions or anything, you know, did I just buy myself a piece of crap, or is there something I could be doing better? Any suggestions or um, critiques or whatever, always greatly appreciate it. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.